This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is Emily Frankel, my wife, and we're going to... I am your wife! That's right. I really wanted to be your wife. You did? The moment I really knew I was in love with you was about two minutes after I met you at a swimming pool and thought, (laughs) I'd like to be his wife. My goodness. What a dumb thing to do so quickly. You're supposed to take your time and think things oh, through. Yeah, yeah. And get to know somebody. Yeah, well, the, uh, that that kind of uh, engagements, so to speak, never lasts. Oh, well, it, this one lasts. <laughs> John, my dear. Yes, yeah, uh, that's the, I thought that was going to be the blog. No, the subject of the blog today yes. for my M's Talkery, oh, which is my blog. Yes. The subject is scary tests. The moments in school that you... Why I hated school was every Sunday I'd think, oh my goodness, on Monday there's going to be tests in school. Right. Say the word tests. Tests. You, you speak beautifully. Well, I have you a lot. You have to be an actor. Tests is a pretty difficult... they got a lot of hisses. Okay, anyway. Shakespeare would use that for why are, s- why scary are, moments. Tests. Tests. Why are sounds like tests a serpent. so scary? Like, before we make a blog, yes. we do a test. Uh-huh. We plug in the microphone. We fix the picture. That's right. I check my hair. Uh-huh. I check my makeup. I check That's your right. hair. I check your eyebrows. That's right. We get everything. All, and the lights, of uh-huh. course. Okay. Well, the more you prepare for a test, the, 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 the easier the test is going to be. Were you a good test taker? I was a good test taker when I, whenever I prepared for a test, I was a good test test taker. But the trouble was, I'm I a never, tiny I test never, taker. I never prepared for any tests, and I was always scared. Well, I was thinking that taking tests yeah. is one of the things that spoils school for children. Really? Yes. The, well, you went to one of those progressive schools where you didn't have tests. No, in the progressive school, we had no tests. We had goals, and that was fine. You, you could just talk your way into a <laughs> something. <laughs> so like that's I do how now. you learned your... But, but when I moved, my family moved from Winnetka, Illinois, where, where I was going to a progressive education school, to... Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where it was an old-fashioned, strict, on-the-nose school. First of all, I couldn't even write. I could only print. <laughs> secondly... But you still can't. That's still I the way you still do I still print. But secondly, tests scared the hell out of me. Tests. Anyway... Is that, is that why... That, that's kind of why you started your own dance company. Oh, okay. You know, because you... Uh, well, you, that's because I not only couldn't take tests, but I didn't really, didn't really ever want to compete. I never wanted to be in a line of dancers. That's the same thing as a test. Oh, yes. So that's what I'm saying. You, you, your, your fear of tests was the reason why you formed your own dance Okay, so company. are your, or your history of auditions because you didn't like tests? No, well, you, you mean my six? Uh, I was very six. Listen, I I I bowled, bowled my way through <laughs> through tests, and I bowled my way through auditions, and and uh, it was it w- people were impressed with my bullshit. Excuse the expression. <laughs> but, <laughs> I knew you were l- looming up to to say that word. <laughs> but uh, but. Uh, the, that that was my style, and uh, you, they got an impression of what I was, but by my my trying to uh, evade the answers, and uh, they were always impressed. Well, by nowadays that. the only test I like would be when I make a salad dressing, and I say test the salad dressing. Yeah, because I'm the one who has it. I'm the taster. If yeah. it's poison, you know. <laughs> if I get poisoned, you look look. To the tester. And you're in a weird mood. Why would I want to poison you? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that you're the one who's afraid to test. I don't. I'm, have I ever been afraid to take your test? As My far taste as tests. Right. No. Who? This is a weird. <laughs> this is a weird. You're an excellent 
taste tests are. That's right. Okay. I'm honest, pretty much. John, thank you for this nonsensical discussion about yes. have taking we, have tests. We, have we said anything at all? No, we just said sometimes before we have to do a video, yeah. we test the video, and it put us in the mood for test talking. Okay, well. So thank you, John Cullen. Well, thank you, Emily, and thank you, folks, for listening. And we'll see you next week. If you aren't, if you don't run away after you see this and think I never <laughs> want to see them again. <laughs> well, that's the point. Bye. Bye. This is AIR. See you next week.